day everyone. For today's lesson, you are expected to First, discuss the different finishing touches, pressing techniques, and packaging procedure of a garment. Second, apply the different finishing touches, pressing techniques, and packaging procedure of a garment. And third, value the importance of knowing the different finishing touches, pressing techniques, and packaging procedure of a garment. Start with let's proceed to the words to ponder. This will help us to easily understand our lesson for today. First, we have hemming. It is the process of turning under and sewing the edge of a piece of cloth or clothing. Next, we have fastener. It is a hardware device that mechanically joins or affixes two or more objects together. Then we have trimming or trimmings. This word also refers to as other decorative embellishments. Then we have ironing. It is the process when you slide your iron back and forth on the fabric to remove wrinkles. Then we have pressing. It is done when you place your iron on the fabric and then lift it repetitively. And the last one is packaging. It is the science, art, and technology of enclosing or protecting your products for distribution, storage, sale, and use. There are different kinds of hemming stitch or hemming stitches, but for today's lesson, I'll give you two examples of it. First one, we have the machine stitch, which is a hemming stitch done with the use of a sewing machine. Second, we have the blanket or the buttonhole stitch, which is used on the edges of a blanket or other material too thick to be hemmed. Aside from hemming, we are going to tackle also the different kinds of fastener. First one, we have the buckles. In earlier times, buckles was used by soldiers, but nowadays, this fastener is mostly seen in shoes, belts, and bags. Second, we have the snaps or press. It is the easiest of all the fasteners and frequently seen in baby's clothes. Another example of the different kinds of fasteners, we have the velcro tapes which compose of two parts such as the hooks and loops. Another one, we have the buttons which is the oldest and most used of all fasteners and it is classified into two. First one, we have the sew-through buttons and the second one which is the shank buttons. Another example of the kinds of fastener, we have the zipper, the hook and eye, and the prog fastener which is also known as the Chinese button. For the last example of the different kinds of fastener, we have the brooches. These are decorative items with a catch and a pin which are fastened to the cloth and serve as a functional as well as decorative fastener, though the decorative element is more. Another key point in this lesson is trimmings. Trimming is a word that refers to as other decorative embellishments, and one example of it is lace. Lace is a trimming technique that gives a look of luxury to any garment. Next, let's proceed to the procedure in pressing finish garment. First, press the garment that are free such as ruffles, ties, sleeves, or collar. Press the underside with details such as facing, including pocket linings and seam allowances. Press the whole garment such as the bodies first and then the skirt. Select an iron temperature and settings consistent with the type of fabric. Test on small hidden areas such as pocket, bag, or waistband. Press on long flat surface, preferably with a padded ironing board. Press in light touch because too much pressure can cause shine and overpressing. Let the weight of the iron do the pressing for you. Never iron clothes with markings or stains. And when pressing, stay away from hook and eye and other plastic coils. Now let's proceed to the labeling of garments. Label for fabric serves as the consumer's protection. A garment label is a communicator between the buyer and the product. And there are various types of labels used in a garment. We have the main label, which contains the brand name or the brand logo. The care label, which assists the customers to know how the product should be cared. We have the size label that indicates the size of the garment. Price label that indicates the price of the garments. Composition label which indicates the fabrication and the composition percentage of any garments. Special label which is used in the garments to attract the customer. 
flag label which is very small label that contains the brand name or the brand logo. After knowing the different types of labels used in the garments, let's go on with the types of packing in finishing section. We have the plastic packaging, the paper-based packaging, and the combined plastic and cardboard packaging. Packaging is the most important parts in garment manufacturing process. After completing the procedure in making a garment, it is required to be packed in finishing section. And these are the checkpoints in finishing department, which consists of the initial finishing inspection, final finishing inspection, and the internal final audit. So here are the basic packing and packaging procedure. First, fold the garment. Second, have a protection and a neat finish by using paper-based or plastic material that will protect your product. And third, packing through a box. Now, let me see if you really understand our lesson for today. I want you to answer subject 4.1 which focus on the lesson on the different kinds of fastener. Subject 4.2 which focus on the different techniques in press and finish garments. And subject 4.3 which focus on the different garment label as well as the different procedure in packing finished garments. For the exercises, I want you to perform the following. First, apply finishing touches. Second, press finish garment. And third, pack finish garment. And don't forget to face your picture inside the box according to the learning competency you are asked to do. And write down your script of learning experience while doing the skills. Here are the rubrics in assessing your performance level. Don't forget to remember that hemming is the process of turning under and sewing the edge of a piece of cloth or clothing. Trimming is a word that refers to as added decorative embellishments. Garment label is a communicator between the buyer and the product. And last one, packing is the one of the most important parts in garment manufacturing process. Let us accomplish Q&A number 1 to 3. From the lesson that you have read about applying finishing touches, how will you differentiate hemming, fastener, and trimming from one another? Any idea? Okay. Hemming, it is the process of turning under and sewing the edge of cloth or clothing. When we say fastener, it is the mechanical device that affixes or joins two or more objects together. And when we say trimming, it is the added decorative embellishment. How about number two? One of the procedure or techniques in pressing finished garment is selecting iron temperature and settings consistent with the type of fabric. If you are going to press your made garment, why do you have to follow this procedure or technique? Any guess or idea from the group? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to follow this procedure or technique because it will prevent us from damaging our fabric or garment or the product that we're going to press. Last question. Aside from plastic, paper-based, and combined plastic and cardboard, what other packaging material can be used in packing finished garment? Why do you think it can also be used? Any idea? Or guess? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I leave this question to you for me to know if you really understand our lesson for today or if you can share or draw your insights or ideas based on the concept that you have gained in our lesson for today. Good luck and see you on our next meeting.